Played my role-playing game last night, had lots of fun, almost crushed the party, feeling much better today. Let's critique some Steam pages. Orb Hunter Single Player Adventure Souls-like Action 3D. Really bad videos so far. Also really dark, can barely see anything. And doesn't look anything interesting. Super Woden GP2 Racing Sports Arcade 2.5D Colorful. Apparently it's a sequel. And I actually like these kinds of games. I loved the Death Rally in the day, Micro Machines, but the camera is so freaking tight. You can't see anything. I mean, look at this shit. Could you drive seeing less than 50 meters ahead? I don't think so. Air Twister is an on rails third person shooter with flight. Also, 30 seconds in, no gameplay. Still no gameplay. Some gameplay. Oh, I recognize that style. Not really my thing. Downstairs, first person horror realistic, very dark, go away. Gatekeeper Infinity, action roguelite shooter, survival. Top down shooter. I mean, it looks nice. Very positive reviews. 84%! That's not bad. Kind of a bullet hell. Published by the publisher of Breath Edge and Void Train. And this is the prologue version for something that will come out later, so. Uh, you can play it now. Gun and Rush is an action roguelite bullet hell shoot em up. This is either really bad or I don't understand what's going on. Could be both. Polylithic is a third person crafting survival set in the Paleolithic Neolithic era where the player crafts items and unlocks technology, discovers the world, builds spaces, and can either grow the tribe and command a settlement or play the game solo. Another colony sim survival game. But this one looks to be half decent. It's an early access, so far 72%. Uh, I'll watch this. Demio Battle is the new Demio game. PvP turn-based strategy game. This one is not VR. Yeah, it takes some time to get to the actual gameplay. But I guess if you like Demio, then you'll like this. Except it's less co-op and more PvP. Mob Factory is a game I've seen in early access. It's a sort of tower defense survival factory management. It's officially 1.0, but honestly, from what I've seen of it, I'm not really impressed. It doesn't really look that enticing. Also, under 68%. Dream Celestial Body. Astronauts want to go home, begin fantasy adventure. I can't read the name of the developer or publisher. And I hate the flickering art style. Stop it. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Oh, look at that. Under 29%. Everyone hates it. Single player campaign is too short and repetitive, and the multiplayer requires you to actually have Modern Warfare 2. Screw all of that. A Spec First Assault. Early access indie space sim simulation. Space combat simulator. Background looks good. The space looks good. Spaceships look good. The UI is atrocious. Manus Day is a retro shooter? Horror. Someone's trying to be Devil Daggers? The gun is way too big. It's at 81% but a low number of reviews. Zombie Builder Defense. Action Arcade Shooter Shoot'em Up PvE. This actually looks amusing. 77%. It's available now for 8 bucks. But I think I've got better things to do with my time. Moonlight Mayhem, Action Strategy Detective Assassin Demons. 4 to 15 player multiplayer horror game where the goal is to eliminate werewolves. Is this a shooter? What are we supposed to do? What the hell is this flickering? No! Western Redemption looks like it runs like ass and very bad capture. Defense Protocol is a casual tower defense action adventure in 3D. Doesn't look half bad. It's 14 bucks. UI is decent for a change, but I can see your English problems. The whole description is one long sentence. Never software, hire a translator. Anonymous Hunting Simulator is a dynamic first person shooter. Funny memes. Oh, then no. Resistor is a racing RPG party based story rich. It looks kind of cool. Every car pretty much looks the same. But I like the flipping and the jumping. Yeah, so I'm watching this. That's it for now. Join me next time as we look into more probably shitty Steam pages. Bye bye!